Ladies and gentlemen of the Scribe Tribe, welcome back to another episode of Galactically Challenged. I'm your boy Scribe and it is Monday morning and I think you and I better get together, have a little bit of a huddle and think about these challenges and how best to get our rewards. Stay right with me because we are going to tackle them all with ease and simplicity. Let's get Galactically Challenged. Okie dokie, taking a look at the modifiers for this particular galactic challenge. It's not going to be a challenge for us, I can tell you that for nothing, ladies and gentlemen. Genosis Arena, we're going to get a stack of entertainment, much like what I'm providing to you right now on this Monday. I need coffee. <sighs> what can I say, guys? It's Monday morning. So entertainment gives us stuff and things that makes us not die quite so much. And we have a few surprises left for you, ladies. Oh, it's with rebels. Oh. <laughs> Y'all don't need a guide as rebels. I don't even care what they've got. All right. So, feats complete with a full team of rebels. Yeah, it's rebels, guys. Three crit It's rebels. 400% turn meter. Okay, maybe with rebels, 400% turn meter is a little bit of a snafu. <coughs> but everything else is easy as pie. Here we have a fantastic team of very delicious, very handsome looking rebels and some fluffy, fluffy beers with a robot. It's as simple as going in and winning, ladies and gentlemen. Rebels are a fantastic team. They are a very fantastic unit and there is nothing in this team that really counteracts rebels. You just go after Anakin, shoot him in the face. And, you know, he's on sand, so he's already got like minus 10% to all his stats, I believe. We'll go ahead and use call to action, go back over to Banana King, get rid of that crit damn. He's dead. Okay, cool. And then we'll just, you know, do do literally, literally whatever you want. Absolutely. Just press buttons and then hopefully stuff and things happen. Uh, we got rid of Kenobi. Let's go ahead and blind everybody. Let's try and maybe reduce some TM on C3PO and then, you know, stun Hermit Yoda. And then I, I think it's all going to unravel for them any second now. Chupio, do your thing, honey. Brap! I love the rebel faction. It's so juicy. All right, cool. So the only thing that we'd have to do then is sort out turn meter. Now, in my opinion, there is no finer queen of turn meter control than JTR herself. So let's go ahead and check out our resistance. Now... JTR lead, those that don't know, boop -a -boop -a -boop. over here, when you score a critical hit, you have a 70% chance to inflict exposed for two turns. Resistance allies gain 10% turn meter for any enemy that is exposed. Whenever a resistance ally uses a special ability, all exposed enemies lose 5% turn meter. Okay, so basically, whenever we use an ability, whenever we crit, we're going to cause a exposed to appear on the enemy and then whenever we use a special ability every enemy with exposed will lose five percent turn meter let's not forget that jtr's hand wave her second special ability her jedi mind tricks that belongs to not a jedi because she's not a jedi ever also removes a bunch of turn meter so let's go ahead and put the stealth on everybody leaving bb8 out in the open he is our ball of bait right now and we're going to go ahead and place translation on jtr because we want her to head three stacks of translation as quickly as possible. Let's go right back over to JTR. Let's go ahead and, hmm, yeah, let's call in C-3PO here. Lovely jubbly, burning on the field. Let's try and spread a bunch of that uh, um, expose across the team. Wiggle boy goes wiggle. And then you are just going to sit there. If we take a look now, she's got three stacks of translation. So we can just wave down. Bye-bye turn meter. I'll do a little bit of a wiggle action here. Let's try to... Well, actually, let's get rid of that uh, confusion first and foremost. Now we've got some stuns over there. Let's go ahead and do a bit of this. Can't crit him right now because he's got crit hit immunity, which means he cannot be... Um, he cannot have exposes on him. How very dear him. Now, whenever you come around to a turn with JTR, and she has got her hand wave special ability, mind trick that belongs to not Jedi, so it's just a mind trick. Um, use it on the person with the highest TM. They lose a bunch of TM, and everybody else is happy. We're going to burn again, hoping to get a bunch of crits. There we go, lots and lots of crits on the board, which means for us, we are going to be getting lots of TMR. There we go. You've got one over there now. Let's go ahead and pass over to C-3PO right now. C-3PO can just do a basic. Once we've got to this position, we only want a really basic with C-3PO, because he will then 
be uh, reducing TM on his basic, but also decreasing cooldowns on JTR. It's very, very easy. The premise is simple. The execution should be perfect. Let's go ahead and basic Mace Windu. Oh, Anakin died of sadness. Taking a leaf there out of Sad Mace book. I'm not going to go and throw the expose right now. I want to try and just, just reel it back in so we can try and get a little bit more on the old uh, TMR side. Who's got lots of TM? Mm, looks like it's a toss-up between GK and uh, GMY. GMY can take a basic to the face. Let's take a look. Imagine Kenobi dies here. We do a bit of a wiggle action. Roly roly. That's more. Okay, super. GMY looking a bit sad there. Let's go ahead and reduce that TM once again. Wiggly wiggly. Lovely, 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 lovely. There's a basic. And just a basic. And that should do it. Okay. So... That should give you the 400% TM reduction feat without too many issues. However, if you do not have resistance, there is a king of turn meter reduction, and that king is going to be in the Empire faction because they know how to remove things from other people. Now, Darth Vader's leadership, he has a certain element of TMR inherently baked into his kit. Empire, uh, Empire and Sith allies have a 30% offense and a 50% chance to remove 20% turn meter whenever they damage an enemy. Fantastic. Pair that with our boy Gidders, old Moff Gideon over here. Now, he has got his uh, Control the Situation special ability, which will strip all the TM away from all enemies. So that's very, very useful as well. Let's think, what else could we run? Mara Jade has gotten a mass stagger. Stagger is a good way of getting rid of TM. Uh, we've got Grand Admiral Thrawn to pass turns to those that we need it. And we could go ahead and throw in our boy Piet, because he's got an AoE Daze, which also strips all buffs from light side enemies. I'm just rolling with it right now, guys. I don't know what's going to happen. But all we know is that the key threat here is going to be our boy Jedi, Jedi Knight Bananakin. Let's go straight into Merciless Massacre. We'll do a Force Crush. Let's see, do we remove any TM? Didn't look like we did. Let's just go around. Oh, we definitely removed TM there. Not that time. Let's just keep rolling. Hmm, interesting. So obviously we're losing Vader. Let's go ahead and just do an AoE here. It gets rid of a bunch of stuff. Uh, yep, so this should do our stun. This ability here, control the situation, will get rid of everybody's TM. If you can get around to doing that twice, it is 100% guaranteed that you are going to succeed in life and things. Who am I going to put this on? Let's put it on Thrawn. We'll throw out the mass stagger. Look at all that staggery goodness. Let's go ahead and fracture GK because I don't like him very much. Need to deal with Anakin. He is le threat. Le threat numero uno. Let's just keep basic in here. Just a basic. Beautiful. And a basic. I'm having a look here. Let's get rid of all that. Let's put out a mass daze. We'll lose Thrawn. That's understandable. Let's just basic. And hop. Beautiful. Okay, no more Anakin is always good news for us. Uh, I'm not going to put that, uh, that out right now. Throw out another AoE stagger, baby. Let's go. You can lose your TM. You can lose your TM. Beautiful. I would imagine we've already at this point hit our TM requirements. Uh, yeah, there's people with some TM, so let's just go ahead and remove it. Work on you very, very slowly. Time goes by. So slow. Ah, oh, I'm demonetized. Damn it. Okay, so it is a bit of a slow burn here, but we will succeed. I have utter faith in myself. Uh, let's just basic mace. Here we go. He lost a bunch of TM there. There's the stagger. Let's trigger all that stagger. They just so chunky. Why are you so chunky? Come on. Die, GK. Die, GK. There we go. GK's gone. And we can AoE here. Hopefully we'll remove some TM. No luck that time. Boop, boop. And are you not entertained? All right, cool. Sloppy, guys. Sloppy. But it will absolutely get you the TMR. If you've got the likes of a GL, obviously so much easier. Throw in someone like Lord Vader. 
with Moff Gideon and you would be absolutely laughing. But for me, this particular set of galactic challenges was not particularly difficult. I hope that you, with my help, have also not had many issues. And if that is the case, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing because, you know, I like you and I hope you like me too. I'm going to send you a little love note in the middle of class and, you know, you can circle yes or no. Smashing. I'll see you all in the next video, guys. Peace out and big love. Just giving a quick shout out to my patrons. I appreciate each and every single one of you. And without your support, I wouldn't be doing this today. Thanks so much.